Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday, a tribute to the wonderfully talented Gerard Melanson, who I was very, very, very sad to hear had passed away on October 18th, 2019. Um, wonderful, wonderful builder, wonderfully talented human being, and from what I've heard, just a standout individual who I really regret that I didn't have a chance to meet. Um, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while. Um, you guys know probably about this guitar and then my other Melanson guitar as well. Uh, it's been an honor to be affiliated with Melanson guitars over the past year or so. Um, and in fact, I mean, I guess really over the past uh, few years because I've, I've played my red Melanson guitar, which I'll show you guys in a second. I've played that guitar for, for quite a while and absolutely love both of these instruments. Um, now, from what I know, um, uh, from what I can see on Gerard's website, this was among the last 10 or so guitars that he made, and he was a member of the Luthiers Guild, just extraordinarily talented and artistic builder. Um, you know, these guitars are really based off of Fender designs, but uh, with his own flair, and um, this guitar in particular, the color is called Aged Whiskey, so it's this really, really nice kind of brownish color, uh, but a beautiful flame maple top that I handpicked. Um, based on tops that Gerard sent me pictures of online. It's got two humbucking pickups, uh, volume, tone, three-way switch. So it's very, very simple, which I like. I like a simple guitar. Uh, but on the back, it's this beautiful piece of swamp ash that Gerard stained this dark color. I didn't know that the guitar was going to have this dark stain on the back, but when I opened the case, I was just blown away by, by the way that this looks here. It's just gorgeous, this piece of wood here. And um, we've got a roasted maple uh, neck, gorgeous roasted maple neck, a Pau Faro fingerboard with stainless steel jumbo frets. And this guitar is just a workhorse. I mean, it's so sturdy. I've played full gigs with it, nothing else, and it's just phenomenal. Um, and to contrast that, the other Melanson guitar that I have has been a really, really uh, great longtime friend, which is more of a Strat style guitar that you guys, I'm sure, have seen before as well on this show. Um, this guitar is an older one. Um, it's called a Vintage Artist, I believe. Um, it's either that or a Classic Artist. I'm not sure which one. I couldn't find this guitar on Gerard's uh, website uh, in terms of the serial number. They, they, there's a feature where you can search the serial numbers, and this one is, uh, from what I can see, made. it was made sometime around 2001, probably October 2001. And uh, just a fantastic instrument. Really, really, really beautiful here with this boiled crawfish red color here. Um, and I think it's alder on the back with a maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard. I mean, this is just a great guitar, and it does everything that the other one doesn't. I mean, they're, they're both great guitars, kind of a yin and yang thing. Uh, like I say, you know, this is more of a Strat style with single coils. And uh, I'll play a little bit on this one for you guys as well. Um, just a second here. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So as you can hear, just a gorgeous single coil guitar. I mean, I really, really love this instrument. It's really been my number one since I've got it. And I, bought, I purchased this guitar off of a student of mine um, in 2017, and I was interested in the guitar since 2013. It took him a long time to decide to actually sell it to me. And it was one of those things, you know, you guys have those moments, I'm sure, with instruments where you just fall in love with a certain guitar and you can't get it out of your head. And, and this guitar was like that for me. I mean, again, uh, very, very lightweight. Both of these guitars are, are very light um, and uh, just an exceptional instrument that has just really stood the test of time and continues to get better as it gets older. I mean, just a great, 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 great guitar. So stable, so sturdy. Both of these guitars stay in tune better than I could have ever expected. Just amazing instruments. Um, and from what I know, Gerard had cancer, um, but he didn't really make it public knowledge. Um, in fact, a lot of people seem to be very surprised that he passed away. And uh, I mean, God, it's just, uh, it really makes you think, you know, that we have to make the most of it out of every day. He was only 58 years old when he passed away. But uh, for those of us who know these guitars, we do love them. And if you guys see one pop up on Reverb.com or one of those websites, go for it because I can absolutely tell you guys that uh, these guitars are exceptional. It's been an honor to be an artist, a um, Melanson guitar artist, and I will continue to proudly play these guitars. Um, Rhonda, Gerard's wife, uh, my heart goes out to you. Uh, my condolences. Um, I really, really, I really uh, feel bad, you know, that this happened to someone at such a young age who was such a great builder, you know, but uh we will play these guitars. We will continue to play them. For those of us who have them, uh, please let me know in the comment section below, have you ever played a Melanson guitar? Do you own one of these beautiful instruments? That's it for this week. We will see you guys and girls again next Tuesday. Cheers, Gerard.